Hello and welcome to Your World This Week, the weekly roundup for all the top news stories of the week. The top news stories this week are The COVID-19 cases in India following yet another sharp spike have crossed 1.6 lakh, while the death toll now stands beyond the 4,700 mark. India this week made its way to become the ninth worst-hit nation with the pandemic across the globe. After a hiatus of two months, the domestic flights in the country resumed this week under strict hygiene regulations and guidelines relating to social distancing. However, there have been few cases of COVID-19 reported from the flights. The Delhi-Haryana border was sealed yet again as both Delhi and Gurugram witnessed their highest single-day spikes this week. Earlier, after lockdown 4.0, relaxations were given to people to cross the NCR borders. Meanwhile, the total cases across the world has now crossed 58 lakh, while the death toll is now beyond 3.6 lakh, according to the data provided by Johns Hopkins University. On a more positive note, more than 24 lakh people have been cured of this disease. The US continues to report the highest number of cases as well as deaths, as the toll passed 1 lakh this week. The WHO has warned that the country seeing a decline in COVID-19 infections could still face an immediate second peak if they let up too soon on measures to halt the outbreak. They said that epidemics often come in waves, which means that the outbreak could come back later this year in places where the first wave has subsided. WHO earlier this week suspended clinical trials of the anti-malaria drug hydroxychloroquine as a potential treatment for COVID-19 due to safety concerns. A major incident of a vehicle-borne IED blast was averted by the timely inputs and action by the Pulwama Police, CRPF and the Army this week. According to sources, the Pulwama Police got a credible tip-off about a terrorist moving with an explosive-laden car ready to blast at some location. They took out various parties of police and security forces and covered all possible routes, keeping themselves and the police and the security forces away from the road at safer locations. In the fiercest attack in 27 years, India has been swarmed by locusts since Monday and now the spread has gone way beyond Rajasthan. The migratory pests have invaded many states in India and now attacking the local crops and plants. Locusts in India usually come during the period between July and October. However, this year, their arrival has been early. A host of measures were undertaken in several areas of Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra and Uttar Pradesh to drive away the swarms of locusts, while authorities in Delhi, Haryana, Himachal Pradesh, Telangana and Karnataka too sounded alerts. Both India and China this week shot down US President Donald Trump's offer to mediate between Sino-India border standoff. In response to Trump's mediation offer, India said that it is engaged with the Chinese side to resolve the border issue peacefully, while China held a stance that stated that there was no need for a third party to intervene between China and India. Indian and Chinese field commanders have been holding talks on de-escalating the tensions. The tensions escalated between India and China following a number of confrontations between the soldiers of both armies. After Bundesliga and La Liga, it is the much-loved English Premier League and Italy's Serie A that are all set to return in June 2020. Premier League shareholders agreed to a new provisional restart date for the 2019-20 season of Wednesday 17 June, provided all safety requirements are in place, Premier League said in a statement. Meanwhile, Italy's Serie A season will resume from June 20th after the three-month suspension due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And here's the viral video of the week. Hope you like this edition of Your World This Week. We will be back next week with yet another episode of Your World This Week. Have a good day.